Hello and welcome to this final dip into Richard Greenwood's comprehensive collection of superb archive film of Northwest England. Crewe needs little introduction as one of the nation's classic railway towns. Changing engines at Crewe was a time-honoured practice and would continue into the diesel era as the West Coast electrification scheme progressed slowly line by line. It's August 1964 and we're at Flandidno Junction to witness 45247 heading along eastbound freight. Richard recalls having reached North Wales on one of the Isle of Man steam packet ship excursions. No A55 expressway in those days. From the top of one of the slag heaps from Goulburn Colliery, known affectionately as the Wigan Alps, a Class 5 heads north with a lengthy parcels train, including short wheelbase goods vans as well as purpose-built parcels stock. In the down direction, Britannia Owen Glendower is cleaner than most Britannias were at that time as it heads north with an express. Back on the west coast route, Birkenhead based Crab 42892 heads north on the down slow with what was a regular Saturday afternoon freight working. Back on the south side of Preston, on a fine Saturday afternoon in July 1963, a Fairburn Class 4 leaves Leyland Station with a local passenger train, a duty which would fairly soon switch to DMU operation. It's followed by Britannia Flying Dutchman on an up express freight. Cement and motor vehicles are amongst the varied goods carried. The 10 coach express duly turns up, hauled by a clean green liveried Pacific. After a great deal of whistling and a pall of black smoke over Oxenhome, another Red Pacific, Duchess of Rutland, heaves into sight with a 16-coach relief train from Birmingham to Glasgow. 